Hey, I'm Jake, buddy by Jake, and welcome to our Motivational Minute with Willie Bloomquist, man. And we're here at Chase Field. Willie, great to see you, Good man. Good to see you as well. 14 years in the bigs, started with the Mariners, ended your terrific career here with the Arizona Diamondbacks. You're a beloved guy and when you go to Seattle or here. What, what's, the, what's the magic of that, man? I mean, you know. Well, I mean, it, it certainly wasn't the performance on the field um, <laughs> as much as I think it was, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, the preparation and the effort that you can give, those are the things you can control as a player. You can't always control the results. Um, people in Seattle and people here in Arizona, I think, uh, recognized that and, and uh, respected that about uh, the way I played. Was there always that, that vision of, I wanted to play Major League Baseball. You know, I, I grew up a big Mariners fan um, and, and heard the voice of Dave Niehaus in my head, you know, as I'm hitting wiffle balls or, or tennis balls over the fence and, you know, dreaming about one day, you know, playing for the Mariners. Um, and that obviously came true, um, which was magnificent. But, you know, ultimately the whole ride in the big leagues was phenomenal. Um, you know, getting a chance to play uh, at both my hometown teams in, in Seattle, here in Arizona, especially. Uh, great times, uh, best three years of my career here in Arizona, so all of it was awesome. I've always said life's about moments and how you overcome challenging moments. What, what were some of the early, early moments that you questioned or people questioned you? Uh, I was questioned my whole career, and so for me, I, I was uh, a type of guy that liked to prove people wrong, and uh, at the end of the day, you, you have 14 years in and you, you wake up and say, well, that was a pretty good career, and how do you like me now, sort of thing. Um, but there, there were times along the way where, yeah, you'd really, really struggle. Uh, there was a time in AAA um, that I, first half of the year, I was hitting about a buck 40 at the All-Star break. I'm like, dude, there's no way I'm gonna make it up. And uh, ended up just kind of going back to the basics, going out to have fun and play. And ironically, I had a great second half and got called up at the end of the season. But that first half, horrible. So. Was there somebody that inspired you? Uh, you know, I, I would have to say my dad. Uh, he's, the, he's the man that introduced me to the game of baseball. He gave me the building blocks uh, for my career. Um, taught me how to do things the right way. Uh, not always the flashy way, but go out and just play the game the right way. Um, so for him, uh, introducing me to the game and, and kind of being the cornerstone as I was growing up, um, that was my inspiration. What are some of the things that you might tell a young Willie coming up now? Well, I mean, you know, it, it's, uh, you know it's all about setting yourself apart from, from the, the person next to you. And I don't mean that in a, in a dog-eat-dog world, but let's be honest, we are in a tough, tough it's industry tough, in baseball. Yeah. So you get a, it's your career. You want to go the extra mile or you just want to do the bare minimum. Ultimately, what you get out of the game is what you put into the game. So um, if there's a message I could pass on to, to younger guys, it's, it's even though it's the new millennium and everything's kind of given to you, you got to work for, for what you get in return. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well done, man. Awesome. Willie, hey, Thank remember, you. stick to the fight. When your hardest hit, it's when things seem worst that you must not quit. Don't quit. Have a great day. Well done, man.